can't sneak up on me. I just did. I got a key for it. But wait, there's more. What's going on, gamers? Gamer on here. Welcome back to a new part and a technically new episode of Sly 2 Band of Thieves, episode 6. But in reality, is part 22. I want to say, let me check. Uh, enjoy the music while you wait. Uh, nope, part 23. I don't know why I thought it was 22. Yeah, 23. He who tames the iron horse. But part of me feels like it's going to be like 30 parts. 40, perhaps, before I get done. Following the trail of spice shipments, we made our way up to Nunavut Bay, Canada, the secret hub of Jean Besson's shipping empire. As a young man, he trekked across Canada to strike the rich during the gold rush of 1852. An avid prospector, he took some chances and ended up buried alive in an avalanche. I think he should be dead for Miraculously, that. the quick freeze kept him alive, and 120 years later, thanks to global warming, he thawed out. The whole he survived. Time, he dreams of taming the no wild sense. north, Whatever. damming every river and chopping down all the trees with progress delivered at the sharp end of an axe. Wow, well, well, he must be fun at parties. Shipping spice for the claw gang proved a lucrative way to bankroll his one-man war against nature. And yet, I have to feel a little sorry for him. What? He's just a normal guy from the 1850s. Back in his day, he'd be a hero. But today, he's a villain. I was going to say, way, back then, those standards, he may have been a good guy. Parts. What a low-tech guy like John Bassan is doing with robot parts is a mystery. I almost don't want to know. But as always, it's only a matter of time before I find out. It's easy. Because there's a grand mastermind involved here. Arpeggio. He who tames the iron horse. But hopefully, if I remember, I'll actually. I've got to lead up the clockwork parts. Head through town and out into the wilderness. Through the wilderness, eh? Uh. Wait, what's the name of the. Cabin Crimes. So we'd be committing crimes in cabins. And it's the name Cabin Crimes. Hey, I don't know what I was trying to do there. Not too bad this ain't Red Dead Redemption. The train robbery. Which we may or may not end up doing something to a train. In this episode. I was going to make it sound like we haven't done anything to a train in general. Except for the one go break episode. When we actually had to hack the train and all that. Oh well. Prison. Anyway. Rustic, but don't be fooled. It's the control center for Jean Bizon's trade empire. Sneak inside and raid his files. You're sure to find out where he keeps his clockwork parts. I won't be surprised if he keeps his files. Uh, doesn't sound hard. Now climbing up a sheer rock wall, that'll be a challenge. Oh, this You're is in easy. luck. Before Jean Bizon took over, this used to be a popular destination for rock climbers. Some of their old wall hooks are still around. I'm guessing I just jump and hit the circle button to latch on. Yes. That's right. And remember to lean back before you spring off the hook. You'll get more altitude. I can't remember. For the tip. I'll give it a try. If it is this one, maybe like next like episode seven, or if it was the third one where his cane could split in two and you could climb on certain ice sheets. Climb up. Come on. Go back down. I don't like you. Anyway, ransacking for files. Jackpot, Sly. That's Sean Bisson. Looks like he didn't notice me come in. Just stay out of sight and take a picture of each of his train routes. They should narrow our search for his share of the clockwork parts. All right, I'm on it. Hello. I can't remember if he has. Salutations, Mr. Arpeggio. Hey, I was just mentioning our time to shoot the breeze. Of course, for you, John, always. Although, must be. 
Yeah, I can think better while my legs move. Pumps blood to your brain. Yes, of course. One must keep blood in one's brain. But do tell, is there some pressing matter you'd like to discuss? First off, are you still a coming on schedule to get that Northern Lights battery? Northern Lights well battery? Away. My blimp should arrive at the end of the week. Bullseye. For a second, when are you gonna give me a look-see at that clockwork brain of yours? I'd sure like to buy it off you. We saw you cover this troglodyte. You've already got the lion's share of the parts. Would you take my meager portion of the robotic bird for your own and strip me of all my earthly pleasures? Easy there, partner. You're all up in a lather. It's just that I found some real use for the clockwork parts I got. Why, I put three of them in the engines of my best trains. With those robotic doohickeys feeding the fire, them trains will run all night and all day. I call them my iron horses. Of course, I gotta keep the plans hidden. Stuffed them in my three trophy pass. Sounds like you're making I mean, your iron horse, I get. I wonder if that's what we trains were called when they were first the thing. The oh, <laughs> when I arrived. Sly, did you hear that? Besides hidden the iron horse blueprints in his trophy bats. Well, there's one. He Excellent. Now get out of that cabin before you're spotted. Please, he ain't gonna That'll spot. Do fine. By the way, you ready to giddy up into Perry for the final hoedown? Yes, the blimp's hypnotist. Oh wait, he was mentioning a blimp. And eh, don't care. After analyzing Bizant's decorating techniques, I think we'll find the other trophy bass above the mantle in the two remaining cabins. Yep, just like I thought. Get to the fish above the mantle and steal those blueprints. Oh, are you kidding me? The safe is here. I, I swear, sometimes I think I just need to go and just collect all the balls before I even start recording anything. Why am I even trying to sneak here? Just have a good old brawl. Ow. Thank you. Wait, what? You're telling me... That's not what hit. Oh. Now it's dead. I'm dead here. Oh no, he's dead. Alright, now just one more cabin to go. The last trophy bass is above the fireplace. Be careful. Attention all cabin guards. I've heard tell from the boys at Ponderosa Cabin there's someone been in my hidden blueprints. Oh, really? Someone's been selling the blueprints? Who would do that? A thief? Where? Who's the thief? Exceptional work, Sly. That's the last. Wow, well, did you guys who's watching the video knew there was a thief selling these blueprints? I didn't know that. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the snake cabin. Oh yeah, who was still some blueprints? For no reason. Armed Couldn't be me. Three blueprints, we should be able to isolate and track the iron horse trains through that satellite dish. Top of the mountain, huh? Shouldn't take long. I shouldn't. <laughs> Probably will. I mean, it depends if I keep following myself. Hmm? Or get people on me. Oh, this guy's got some valuables in his pocket. Hopefully there's some good valuables. Oh, a sapphire. I actually don't know if it's worth it for much. Uh, I just realized not everything that you would think is worth a lot. Keep an eye out for those rock climber wall hooks. They might be useful. Yeah, surprisingly I'm not that bad at using them. Normally I suck. That's my first time doing a full circle on those things. Ooh, a bell. I'm gonna definitely take that and head back to the hideout. This is great! We've got total access to the train's GPS system! Yay! It's all on 
on my computer. Head back to the safe house. I'll crunch some numbers and give you and Murray the rundown. I, I think he's gonna teleport me to safe house. I just poorly <laughs> realized. No. No. Dang it. I wanted that bell. If it wouldn't cancel the mission, I would have. Thanks to Sly's efforts, we now know the location of all three of the local clockwork parts. Two lugs and a stomach. John Besson has grafted each Dang. piece to the engine in Reports. one of his iron horse trains. This improvement allows the trains to run all night and all day. We won't have the luxury of sneaking in while they're stopped. While they're in motion, the only way aboard is through a hatch well, on the caboose roof, which unfortunately has been locked down. Oh, uh, we got a way around that. These need to go. First, collect the spice gas from the balloons above town, and then land on the back of the caboose to blow off the locks. Once the way is cleared, I'll suit up and jump into Iron Horse number one while it passes near town. With some luck, we'll have the first clockwork lug in a few hours. So, what's this one about? It's awful! I can't believe it! Slow down, Bentley. What happened? Murray! He went out looking for a snack and uh... got captured by Inspector Fox! Carmelita? She's here? Don't worry, yeah, that is a bit I know how to handle her. But I don't know where she's locked up Murray. I'm used to having all the facts. Calm down. Carmelita's not cruel like the Contessa. I'll follow her without being seen. She's bound to check on Murray sooner or later. Okay. No matter that, that's what she's going to do now. That's a good plan. Just don't get caught too. I don't want to be alone again. Oh, well, that's not the thing to worry about. It's the fact that if we do get caught, there's no way you're going to break us out. Okay, well. I got that bottle. But at what cost? Just for sure in the beginning of the mission. <laughs> Don't you dare. Oh. I guess Sly doesn't like swimming in an ice cold water. Alright, gotta go for now. Hey, there he is. And I got a pickpocket 3k. Carmelita! I already know this for a setting. Hey, criminal. You doing okay in there? I know it's tight, but you won't get shocked if you hold still. I'm okay. And thanks for that bag of jelly beans. I was starving. Won't be long now. Once I bust the other members of your gang, we'll get out of here. I'm grateful for the jelly beans and all, but aren't you on the outs with Interpol right now? Yeah, Murray's got a point there. I'm an honest cop. Busting the Cooper gang will prove my innocence and show everyone that Constable Neela set me up. Are you sure about that? I don't you think that's gonna really... Neela? I hear she got promoted. Whatever. Just sit tight. I'm going to look for your pals. Oh, good luck with that. Murray, I've come to break you out. Bad chance. This thing is triple padlocked and Inspector Fox is carrying all the keys. Come on, buddy. You know I'm an expert at pickpocketing. She's tough, Sly. If you manage to get a key, you'd better run for it. Carmelita's sure to notice and chase after you. Leave her to me. Like I said, I knew it was going to head to the big bucket three keys type. But she's coming back up here. Oh, they know she's up for
Okay, we're gonna show you the monkey. You can't sneak up on me. I just did, and I got a key for it. Is she still behind me? Yeah, she's trying to make her Worm, you're no match for me. Uh, no, I, 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 I outran you, and I'm coming back to get the other key. You're no match for. You're no match for me. Now, bye. My keys. <laughs> I should be safe. Yeah. Sooner or later, I'll get you. All right, sure you. <laughs> oh no. I'm I felt it. that thief. Yeah, well, it occupied with the other guy. Dang, they're trying to team up against me. What the heck? Now I thought cover with the lead, it was gonna focus on now. Anyway, I'm gonna break Murray out. Uh oh. Before you try to slip up in your mind. I thought that would hit the perfect just take me out. Come on, Carly, take that one out. Oh, really? No. I'm trying to take my head off with a dumb shock pistol. God. You're gonna kill me with it. Not even take me out. Anyway, come on, Murray. You're out now. You're a free man. Just don't get caught by Kermelita again. Thanks, pal. I was getting a Charlie horse standing in that box. My pleasure. You know how I love to mess around with Carmelita. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> See you back at the safe house. Yeah, that, that, out of everything, that's really what weirds, weirds out Murray. Okay. <laughs> Hello? I think that's good um, ending spot, if you will. So if you did enjoy this part, a slide to Band of Thieves. And, oh my god, my nose. <laughs> uh, well, I was gonna say, oh yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click that bell icon to be notified any other time I upload. You would think I'd be more excited in the soundtrack, but oh my nose. Uh, well, oh yeah, don't forget, uh, I'm like thinking on this. Oh yeah. Don't forget to share this video out. <laughs> oh, there's Grimlin again. Wait. Okay. Don't forget to uh, share this video with family, friends, and random strangers on the internet. And check out some of my uh, other videos because you'll enjoy them. I'm adding this video here now because I'm getting sidetracked and my nose is bugging me. Plus I think this is a good ending spot in general. With that being said, I'll see you next time.